In this video, we're going to show how to create an information packet document with the proposal pack and proposal pack wizard. Now there's another video that we have that's very similar, uh, how to create an instruction manual or a handbook. So the steps will be almost the same, it's just a difference in the actual templates you select. So we've got a page on a website here. This is the proposal packs page. Now you'll start by using any one of the hundreds of design themes we have. And on our website, you can scroll down all the hundreds of design themes. There's general purpose designs. There's designs that are line art based, photo based. Uh, there's designs for specific types of industries and situations and just general purpose designs. And you can customize all these designs as well with your own logo. And using the expert edition, there's software features that let you actually create your own design theme. So that covers the visual look of your proposals. Now we're gonna illustrate this information packet document using a pest control company, just for illustration purposes. And we're gonna show our pest control number two design. Now on our website, this is the actual product, pest control number two, and the Word documents will actually be in this design theme when we're finished creating the Word document. So once you've purchased a proposal pack of the Pro Kit, got it all installed, got the wizard software installed, you'll be ready to create a document. Now, a lot of times you're gonna be creating proposals, contracts, bids, and so on. Those can all be created with the same pack and wizard. It's just a different set of chapters that you're gonna select. So you could actually create your services proposal, your product sales proposal, and you can also create your instruction manuals, handbooks, or information packets. So you see we have our pest control design theme set as our current style and whichever one or more styles you've purchased and installed will be available in this document styles button up here. So whenever we're going to create a Word document, whether it's a proposal or our handbook, manual or information packet, we'll click the document projects button. We'll click the add new project I'll just give it a project name. You can give it any name you want. This is just for your information to find it in the database. And we'll click the Pick Documents button. And this is where you're gonna select all of the chapters that will make up your information packet. So a lot of times I'll just start with a title page Maybe if it's long enough, table of contents, back page, introduction perhaps. And then you've got thousands of options for the interior pages. Now you're seeing the top 40 most common pages right here in these checkboxes. But if you click this drop down, you have entries here that will take you to pages of chapters. It will cover all 2000 chapter templates you have available. For example, we can just click one of these general information pages and you can just scroll through all sorts of different chapters you can add to your document. Now, if you know a specific name of a chapter and you wanna just search the database of thousands of chapters, uh, what if we wanna add a frequently asked questions to our information packet? We'll just search on a word, say frequent. And it's found every template that has the word frequent in it and related chapters that we've kind of tagged that might be related. So we can add this to our project just by clicking it and add the selected template. Now we've got the frequently asked questions in our list. Now 
Now we already have a sample of an information packet. If you go to the View Samples tab, there are 200 sample documents. Most of these are proposals, but there is an information packet. And this is why we are illustrating this with our pest control, because it just happens to be a pest control information packet that was designed to go along with the pest control services sample as an example of how you can use the proposal pack to create a services proposal and a follow-up information packet to say leave behind with your client. Now if you go over to the quick start tab you'll also find that same pest control information packet along with you know hundreds and hundreds of other layouts. Now these hundreds of layouts will not all have sample content, the actual writing of the interior pages, about 200 of them will. And all of the ones here, the 200 samples, all have pre-written content that you can import into your document you're creating in the wizard. So we're gonna select the pest control information packet if we want to look at just a PDF copy of that sample, I can click this button, open that up as a PDF document. But I'm going to click the import content. So now that's imported this, this list of seven chapters. Now these are just seven out of the 2,000 possible chapters we can pull from. And it's also going to import, when it builds the document, the interior writing of that sample into the template it builds. So we have a list of chapters selected and we can now alter that list of chapters. So if we want to add additional chapters from the library, say if we just want to add the introduction chapter. Now you see we're up to eight pages and just put an introduction in front of what you can expect. Now, the introduction chapter, since we've added that from the general purpose library of templates, won't have the sample content related to the pest control information packet, but you'll have that page there ready for you to fill in with some additional information you might want to put in, in addition to the sample content. Okay, so we have all of our chapters selected for this document. I'll click the OK Use Selected Templates button. And that takes us back to the project page. And you'll see this drop down here. It changed from the default to information. So that is going to be the main title page graphic that is going to be put onto this document. So instead of it saying proposal on the front cover, it's going to say information. There's a list of about 20 some options you can pick from for the title of the front cover. Now an information packet is generally going to be more of a general purpose document. It's not going to be customized per client. So you usually aren't going to have client tags in the document to fill in. And the company information this is just going to be your information, your name, address, phone number, basic contact information that's going to get merged into the document when it gets built. And then if you do want client specific data in this document, then you can enter your client information. Now this is going to be more commonly used in a proposal or quote that's tailored specific to each client versus a manual or handbook or something or an information packet that's going to be a general purpose document. Now, once we have everything set up, we have all the settings, we have the chapter selected, the import content selected, and the mail merge data figured out, we click the OK Save Project button, and the wizard will build us the Word document. Now we just sit back and wait for it to create. Okay, our information packet has been generated. Open this up and take a look at it. Now you can see the front cover letter. Now this is where you can use, say, 
client data tags if this information packets can be customized per client if we had entered that data into the client data screen you, you'll remember I left it blank it would have been merged into these tags here uh, this will actually be your company information this is the information that was in the company data screen which was ours for the demo and this is all editable text anything that got merged in can just be edited at any time as just normal word text Now you can see the graphic on the front title page is now information instead of proposal. Now this is the introduction page that we added, which is a fill in the blank template because it was never part of the original actual written sample. But the rest of the pages say what you can expect, precautions, monitoring, and so on. These are the actual sample content pulled in to the fill-in-the-blank templates that are all assembled into this information packet document. So now all you have to do is finish editing, save it as a PDF, print it out, and that is your information packet. So you can create this in any combination of hundreds of design themes, all customizable, and countless variations on the chapter pages that are going to make up the body of the information packet. So there's pretty much unlimited combinations of documents you can create using the proposal pack wizard. And that is all there is to creating an, an information packet document. Let us know what you think in the comments below and click subscribe to keep up on the latest proposal writing tips with Proposal Kit.